Okay, so that new Fallout TV show was incredible, but it's really got me thinking lately what my odds are, like my chances of surviving a nuclear blast. I live right outside of Los Angeles. I feel like if China or Russia ends up nuking us, you know, it's like the classic spots, Los Angeles, New York City, freaking Washington, DC. I'm in, I'm in a hot spot. So like, what are my chances of surviving a nuclear blast? My main concern is just the nuke. After the nuke, I feel like I'll be fine. My house is littered with melee weapons. I have a good amount of ammo too, but I feel like that stuff runs out. Either way, generally, I feel like I'll be fine. My neighbors, like most of them already look pretty edible. I'm not worried about it. They, all I have to do is worry about the blast. So that's what we're doing today. Leave a like and let's get into it. Okay, so this is Los Angeles, and these are all the cities and stuff surrounding Los Angeles. This is where, expectedly for this video, the nuke would hit, even though you gotta imagine, like, they wouldn't want half of the radius to be the ocean, so maybe they'd nuke more over here, and just kind of, so they mostly, they do the most damage. Oh, they'd get Big Bear, those commie bastards. I feel like they'd want to make sure Los Angeles, like, the, the freaking financial district, everything is toasted, so it is still just better necessarily to nuke right on there. And then if half the blast gets the ocean, well, then we'll just get like crazy three-headed sharks. I know realistically, we'll just get sharks with cancer, but damn it, let me dream. Oh, dude, if you zoom in, they're nu they're nuking right onto Skid Row. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure those meth heads are nuke resistant. They're going to be the first generation of ghouls. This is actually going to get pretty exciting. Yep, see the financial district right on the money. Oh, the jewelry district, bro. They're hitting us in the jewels. That's crazy. Oh, little Tokyo. Okay, so admittedly, I don't know as much as I'd like to about current nuclear warheads, but they're is this one right here, which is the B-83. It says the largest bomb in current U.S. arsenal. I imagine if it's good enough to be our largest nuke, then it's good enough to be their largest nuke. So this is what we're going to be using. Make sure we got casualties and a radioactive fallout turned on. Oh my god, it's like we're in a TV show. Oh whoa, dude, this is actually pretty good. This is the damage it would do necessarily, although you got to imagine it'd be like in the show Fallout where they, they scatter bomb like a bunch of them. But if we get lucky enough just to get one of these bad boys, the fallout actually isn't going to be that terrible. Okay, well apparently the orange is the thermal radiation radius which is third degree burn so that's actually gonna be terrible that's gonna be like several million people just scorched like the skin off their bones but if you're just in this zone right here, the radius blast damage, you should be fine. I was actually wrong about the radius too. It all like freaking curves in perfectly. If they nuke right there in the financial district, it's gonna not be wasted whatsoever. Just like a tiny bit will go into the ocean. Okay, so now let's go check out exactly how we'd survive a situation like this. But realistically, I'm looking at pretty good odds right here. I feel like it'd be fine. But again, there's a chance they drop like one here, then one here, then one here. If that happens, that's why I need to watch these other videos. All I gotta do is survive the blast and then I'm just gonna eat people, bro. Okay, this channel is called How to Survive. This, these guys got to know, right? They run a whole business on surviving. Ooh, I don't know. That building did not hold up well. The blast radius zone still has so much issues. Yeah, see, that's uh, the red zone. You got to stay out of that. That sound good. Do we even have nuke sirens? It looks like we do have sirens, but everyone's gonna have to tune into a local radio or television station. I don't even have TV, dude. I did not realize how unprepared we are for this. Landslides. Damn, bro. Hurricanes. Tune into but Netflix time, nuke channel. The entire world is at stake. Stake? An all-out nuclear war has erupted. Countries are launching attacks, and others are retaliating. What should you do to get out of this world ending scenario? That is what I'm saying, bro. Get inside, because here's how to survive a nuclear apocalypse. I suppose I should mention this is like if we're just on the surrounding right now, edges of the blast radius. Of nuclear weapons. If any one of them launched even one of the almost 15,000 nuclear warheads in the world, it could cause a wave of chaos and destruction. That's crazy, bro. 15,000? One megaton warhead would vaporize anything within one kilometer from its center. All of the buildings within seven kilometers would collapse from a blast of air. Those aren't, that's pretty anything close. It's not that far. kilometer radius would be hit by a thermal blast hot enough to cause third degree burns. Okay, that's the one I was talking about. The orange, the orange radius. This is the worst one to be in, dude. Just seven miles of everyone being cooked alive. You know how many babies there are in seven miles? Ouch. There's like six and million people in LA. Away, because everything within 20 <laughs> kilometers would be hit with a flash of light. It isn't too dangerous, but it could cause you to go blind for a few minutes. That ain't so bad. What should you do when you hear the sirens? Why would fleeing be a bad idea? What is it? And how could you survive the fallout? You need um, 
I know surviving a nuclear I almost said like 20 stupid things. Like a daunting, impossible task. But here's a few tips on how to get through the initial blasts and the aftermath. Dude, I already have a gas mask in my closet. Step one, hide. The sirens are blaring and everyone's in a panic. Better act fast because you could only have a few minutes before impact. Look at these goobers. Your first instinct might be to evacuate and get as far away as possible. Hate your Monday morning commute? Well, imagine that, but much, much worse. Dude, motorcycle the people are all going to survive. With everyone trying to get out. This is a traffic jam that you wouldn't want to be caught in. You'll be a bunch of sitting ducks, and you can probably picture the rest. Your best bet is to hunker down and find shelter. If you or your neighbor have a bomb shelter, well, you don't need me to tell you where to go. You know, I'm calling it out. Bomb shelter businesses are going to skyrocket as the Fallout show reaches more and more success. For sure, I'd, I'd be interested already. If there are any underground subways nearby, go there. They're some of the safest places to withstand Let's bring back that nuke. 1950s paranoia, you know? Let's just get nearby, weird with it. Try to find the largest cement building. In the best case scenario, go to the basement. If it doesn't have one, get to the center of the building. Yeah, there's Hiding no basements in, in California. You we don't have tornadoes here. Going as deep as you can well, there's some. will protect you when the radiation hits. Today is your lucky day. You find a basement to hide in. Everything around you violently shakes as you hear a deafening boom. You find your bearings and the rumbling settles, but don't leave just yet. It's still incredibly dangerous outside. This dude got such an assortment of movie clips ready for this video. I'm impressed. If you wait it now, out, you'll be facing nerve searing heat and a whole lot of fallout. In That's the goal, right? Dude, Indiana Jones survived a nuke in a fridge. That shit pisses me off, man. But I don't know. It's I don't know if it's would legit work or not. It's <laughs> 15 minutes. Radioactive bits of dirt and debris will start to fall from the sky. Oh, dear. Soon enough, everything outside will be covered in irradiated dust. Coming in contact with this stuff can quickly induce radiation poisoning, which is a terrible way to die. Try to stay inside for at least 72 hours. After that, it will be safe for you to venture out. Dude, I got a, I got like four months of, of, of MREs and water in my closet from like COVID still, so chilling. While you're in there, stockpile any packaged food, bottled water, and first aid supplies that were left inside the building. A so damn Purell. Get through these three days, but anything that you have left over will be handy to help or trade with other survivors. Oh, hell yeah, Speaking dude. Trading. Food, <laughs> you might try saving as much money as you can. You'll never know when you have to dig into your emergency funds for an apocalypse. Oh. The thing is, if a nuke causes society to collapse, your money will pretty much be useless. But do you know what will stay the same while the dollar will lose its value? Gold. If times are feeling a little unstable, this just got sexy it's around a good here. Idea to invest in precious metals. You'll be able to hold on to your wealth once society bounces back from the devastation. And who knows? Gold could be the most valuable resource during an apocalypse. If That's you're in trippy. the market for a hedge against a nuclear apocalypse, you should head over to the sponsor of this video. I almost think gold to be completely useless in a pot. I mean, unless you could use it for like, I don't I don't know anything about it. It's like a conductor or something, but necessarily be useful stuff. Be bullets, dude. Bullets. That's freaking money, baby. JMBullion.com. Yeah, this was just the sponsor is what this was. The internet and your phone service is knocked out. You can't stay here forever. But yeah, it's dingus. It's time for you to explore this new radioactive world. Not him, the guy in the video. He's the dingus. Step three, look for information. You take a step outside. The world you once knew is now a wasteland. But don't stop and stare Sweet. too long. Time is of the essence. The longer you're in contact with radioactive material, the more it will affect your body. Search nearby buildings for a radio. It's you know, I'm sorry to get the vibe. It's not going to be fun. Like, well, you got to wait like 200 years before you can walk around and chill and stuff. Crucial to get information in a time like this. You could find help, learn where the shelters are, or figure out if there will be any more attacks. The radio hisses and crackles. Dead air. Step four, search for others. Yes, you can't to eat on them. You leaders to get through this. You're going to have to rely on yourself and the help of others. 
While you're searching the nearby buildings, call out for other survivors. You can get a lot more done with friends, and you can work together to yeah, survive. Yeah, right, so I could be taken as some sex slave? What the hell? They're not so friendly. Try to make a trade. If you don't have anything to give, you could use your skills as currency. Bro, if you're getting robbed, they're just gonna kill you and take your stuff anyways, man. You need a better plan than that. Step five, move. You collect a decent amount of supplies and make a friend or two. Now you should consider traveling somewhere with warmer temperatures. A large amount of the ash and soot from the blast will be injected into the stratosphere, potentially blocking out the sun. Damn. Working Such? on your tan Suit? will be the least of your worries. Temperatures around the world could drastically drop. Move away from the north, where it'll reach freezing temperatures during the nuclear winter. You and your group of survivors journey safely to the south. Unfortunately, because of the irradiated land, you'll have to live off canned beans and tuna for the rest of your days. I was going to say, it's already warm in California, but you lost me at can uh, canned beans and tuna is actually pretty. Canned beans are freaking delicious. I don't know what I'm talking about. But you made it through the nuclear Some brown beans? Alive. Forget about it, dude. Now that you're a seasoned veteran of the wasteland, do you think you could get through another? As far as surviving a nuke in Los Angeles goes, that's it seems pretty undoable. But like, it seems horrible anywhere necessarily because it's not going to be like radiation poisoning is going to be horrible. We're just going to get cancer and die really fast. But it would be pretty cool if like we became ghouls and met like pretty protagonists on adventures. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. Either way, just stockpile a bunch of salts because otherwise your neighbors are going to taste terrible. But either way, these videos were pretty awesome. Leave a like, subscribe, check out these channels linked down below, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>